everyone, and welcome to Those Working Fangirls, where we talk all things nerdy book, TV, movie, pop culture, fandoms, and how they integrate into our adult lives. I'm Natasha. And I'm Christine. And today we're doing something fun, something like a little out of the blue. Uh, We are asking out Twilight characters. (laughs) And projecting how we would take them on their first date, like what we would do with them. What what would we do with them? Do with them. Wow. Well, like, where we would take them. You guys made it really dirty. <laughs> yeah, you can expect that from us. <laughs> we Chloe is have... joining us today. Yeah. yeah. Hi, everyone. It's me. I'm here again. <laughs> it's me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm not the problem, though. I'm the solution. So. Yes. Yeah, so, was like, she's like, do you think we need Chloe on this episode? I was like, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah you're like we need someone a little more unhinged yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so before we go into our unhinged dating twilight characters nonsense though we have a bunch of snap crackle pop culture news this week there's been a shitload of stuff dropping in the past seven days and we're gonna jump right into it so i don't know if you guys saw but sabrina and barry were rumored to have broken up but i haven't seen anything else but what do you think of these rumors that's so tragic sabrina carpenter Post i know hard launch <laughs> i know i wonder if it's like that she's just too busy with like her <laughs> album coming out yeah with the album coming out or maybe they're still together and it's just a rumor well this friday it's out right yeah yeah it'll be out when this episode drops mm-hmm. it's I'm called short and sweet I'm so yeah excited. and so the time of the whole album dropped the other day and it's just the whole album's a total of 33 minutes <laughs> i am so shocked that she hasn't done more of like a taylor swift approach to this like she hasn't really given us too many easter eggs she hasn't dropped title tracks from what i know like oh she did we went through them Oh, okay. Well, she dropped title tracks and I didn't know. And like, I feel like the only thing that gave me a hint that it was going to be short and sweet was literally the album title. I think she's done a lot of Easter eggs actually though in her music like videos. What? In the music videos? Maybe. Yeah. They've kind of led into each like overarching story that she's telling a story with her singles and they're kind of arching into each other like at the end of the first music video espresso she gets True. arrested it's gonna be like a and story it's playing line. the song yeah. oh. and then please 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 she's in jail i do think it's gonna tell a story i agree meeting barry in jail <laughs> is that easter eggs though is that just like us thinking oh it's gonna be a storyline like <laughs> no 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 there's a lot of actual lyrics in please 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 that reference other songs on the album like okay. there's the titles are like referenced. oh the titles are referenced okay yeah yeah gabby so. said i saw that he liked her instagram post after that so perhaps not yeah but the thing is like you could still be a supportive person i, uh, like I don't know do do right after especially if there are rumors and you don't want to stir them and you care about the person so mm-hmm. we'll I hope see. let's hope together. they're still together yeah. yeah but i just don't know if like liking instagram posts is a good like gauge but i don't know for something. gen z i think it is a good gauge like we scrub our instagrams from that person often like we like delete them we unfollow them like and that's like common for my friend group so barry I know. is sabrina. old barry's old. old but sabrina is how old is he no, Barry's He's a millennial, like... Sabrina's Gen Z. Yeah. Okay, so if I were supporting, I still probably would like their post if it was a breakup that wasn't, like, angry. Angry, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see, I guess. Sorry, Sean um, said Barry is older. <laughs> <laughs> thanks shots <laughs> thanks for that clarification all right um natasha do you want to take this one yeah guys yeah my lady jane is canceled we're very upset i feel like i've seen so many people upset about this yeah i have too and i'm is like it because of people we meet on vacation is it literally because she's unavailable? Because of the No, because timing? so typically, like, when you sign on to a show, 
you sign on to multiple you sign on to like the first i think two or three seasons and then you have a chance to re-up and change your rate so the cast was already signed on like they would have they would have scheduled the show after people we meet on vacation Mm -hmm. Or yeah, like season. the scheduling would have like the scheduling would have already been there. Yeah. So it's unfortunate. Obviously, it feels like Amazon just thinks that it doesn't need a second season. Yeah, and it's it's really frustrating because it's like now we have like they they did the Shadow and Bone, or at least Shadow and Bone got two seasons, but like I don't know, it just feels like they aren't taking what women want. Seriously. Like, seriously? Yeah. yeah. Also, like, yeah, I feel like it's done so well. Like, we've loved but it so much. In our I, circle, at least. And that's, that's the yeah. thing, though. In it's like, bubble. I feel like we are so upset about these shows that get canceled because, like, our bubble and our echo chamber is also so upset. But, like, in the grand scheme of things, do they have that, like, wider appeal? I don't know. I don't know. I think it has a wide appeal. I think maybe people didn't know about it. It's just yeah. really hard to get word out about I shows very now. Rarely this oversaturated hear about Amazon shows, like very, very yeah. rarely. It's just there's so many streamers with so many new shows being promoted, and they're always being promoted at the last second. So it's like right before they drop, and it's very hard if you're not like very in tune with the internet to keep up. Well, I also feel like it, they caught people at such a good time right after Bridgerton ended. Like they should have been putting more into their marketing, um, but Amazon one hundred percent. Yeah, they do this a lot where they just like don't put a ton of into their marketing for some shows. Like a lot of like Rings of Power, they throw so much money into their marketing, um, or The Boys. Like, but for let's say like when the Summer Return Pretty first came out, I don't remember hearing about that soon. I, I mean, I only knew about I mean, it, it exploded through the internet. Yeah, yeah, and now they're doing marketing for it. But it's like, yeah, I don't, I think that they take chances and then they're too scared to like really follow through. Unless it just goes viral. And unless on its it own. goes viral on its own. Yeah. Which I feel like yeah. it did a little bit. I feel like it did a little bit too. Cause I heard about it on Twitter. Like people were talking about how good it was. Mm. I, I, I knew about it because I had a, a mutual friend who went to London for the premiere. That's how I knew about it. And I was like, oh, sure. But then it started going v- more viral on Twitter. And that's when I yeah, gave it a I chance. I was sending you those tweets. Yeah. I wanted to watch it. And I was like, Natasha, have you heard about this? I want to watch it. And you're like, I don't know if I want to watch it. <laughs> it's, definitely, it's definitely for the romance girlies. But I think a, f- a few folks in the chat, like Metal and Nicole, are saying like, they wouldn't have known about it unless y'all didn't talk and Christine. about it. And Christine, sorry. Of course, Christine. <laughs> I <the> just, I, <laughs> Christine in the chat. <laughs> Christine in the chat. Um, all right. I'm going to bring us into today in Taylor Swift because there's a lot going on because we're all waiting for the reputation announcement. And like, if all goes well, by the time this goes live, Rep TV will be of an, have been announced. Let's hope. Let's hope. Well, okay, before I even talk, let me just say that she has been dropping hints for reputation, okay? Mm -hmm. For a long time now, there's been random, like, Easter eggs about reputation, and we know she loves to do that, but in, she changed the title, so Kanye recently dropped an album, we Mm -hmm. know about this, he didn't hit number one, Taylor Swift was number one, then she released a single version of Thank You, Amy, a single live version of Thank You, Amy. And she changed the title of Thank You, Amy, so that the caps lock don't spell Kim. They spell Ye, which is Kanye's name. And I thought that maybe it was just for this live single, but on all of the Tortured Poets Department versions now, it is Ye. So thank no you, way. Amy. She has changed the capitals <gasps> oh to Oh, my ye. God. I love yes. that level of yeah. pettiness. <laughs> and as we know... The, in 2017, she dropped the first single, Look What You Made Me Do, which was very mm-hmm. Kanye-coded mm-hmm. Um, um, at the end of August. Yeah. And the music video went live at the VMAs. And I think it was the 20th that she dropped it. If I, It's, it's around the 20th. I think it is the 20th, though, because I think that's why we're really going hard that she's going to drop rep tomorrow on the 20th. But it would be the perfect timing and she's closing out her London shows on the 20th. 
So okay. she likes to usually close out her, and she has a little break. So yeah. when she's going on a break is usually when she does something like album, albumy. Yes. I so. am so excited. I was telling Christine before we hopped on live that this was the soundtrack of my freshman year of college. Uh, the first single came out right before I was about to start, and I remember just like walking to my 7 a.m., feeling like a bad bitch, listening to Reputation, and it's so crazy like how Taylor and her different eras have also marked different eras of my life, and I think all of us feel that way, and I think it's yeah. so excited that these like Taylor versions are dropping because we also get to mark new seasons of our life. And like kind yep. of reflect on how far we've come since the original and like what we are doing now versus the original. And that's like yeah. so special. And I think that's her intention totally. But I'm I'm so excited and Metal's like cracking me up in the chat because they said put like puts on clown shoes. Cause do we <laughs> do really we, know? We've been clowned <laughs> so many fucking times. So mm -hmm. I mean there's a chance that nothing happens this week. But I really hope it is. She also, okay, debuted a new bodysuit for Midnight. <gasps> it's so now, pretty. It's oh, my so God. Pretty. Can it's I my just favorite say the far. correlation that right before she announced 1989 Taylor's version, she came out with the other. The, she, she debuted the other Midnight's That is suit. so deep. Wow. So. <laughs> also, the, Your like, brain is magic. The finger oh, counting thing. Yeah. Okay. So what does someone that mean? told me, okay, so there was this huge uproar that she was, when during the, don't blame me, look what you made me do. And it's like, dawn. And she goes like this, like a witch. She like puts out her hand. Yeah. Okay. There were pictures showing like she did three and then two and then one, but but then someone said that those were edited and but like all of taylor swift twitter was talking about them so i was oh. like were they edited i don't know but then she didn't announce it. but this is what she's actually doing i've seen it on video instead of doing 22 she's doing 20. she's like she's doing that with her hands during 22. Oh, okay that's the best piece of evidence you've said so yes. far yes yeah. that so feels she is that feels literally like saying the, the number news. 20 on the nose. What? That's like very on the nose. Very on the yeah. nose for Taylor. When did yeah. she start doing that? Uh, two days ago. Okay. Like two shows okay, ago. Okay, so it's and really on the again. nose, but it's two days ago. Okay. And she that's, did it twice. Yeah. That can't be a coincidence, right? No. No. She's, that's new. Is she's she doing dropping it zero. on the 20th or is she telling us when she's dropping it on the 20th? I think she'll tell us when she's dropping it, but, 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 but. Her big thing with the reputation is that there will be no explanation. There'll just be reputation. Right. So you never know. She could just drop I it. I really just want her to drop it. Like, I, I, don't, and, I don't want to deal with the waiting period. Okay. And can I, there's one more thing that this is kind of clowny, but like, <laughs> but I like how you're like this, this thing that the first thing that I've said that is clowny. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, the 20 thing is like... That's the only thing where I'm like, 20th. that is pretty crazy. But, but everything is, else is still... Okay, seven years ago, on the 18th, which is a day ago, mm -hmm. is when she went dark and deleted her entire social media for the snake to come on the next day. And the, you remember the snake pieces mm -hmm. that came up mm -hmm. as she left yep. her reputation? She's also been doing the snake symbol with her hand during the shows, and there's been like lots of Swifties like clipping it because she's been doing... <laughs> A little snake, snake symbol. The, not the snake she symbol. goes like this like she does like she makes a snake with her hand and then goes like this but like she did it <laughs> twice during the last show okay but <laughs> let me just i had another point i was going to make okay so you know it's like done done one two three are you ready for it mm -hmm. or whatever so it's been um 123 days since um april 19th tomorrow <laughs> So oh, that's my last two, album. Oh. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, it's been 123 days since my birthday. It's so true. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, okay. I, that one's crazy, but like all of T-Swift. I think the snake is Internet. crazy. Snake I'm was, like, no, that... I like, cause if you watch it, you see her doing it. She's doing the snake thing. She, like, I could... There is no way she's not sitting on her fucking TikTok laughing at us. 
laughing she's laughing at us. all the time but she also has a plan so she she loves this that's no, the whole we know, she leaves but... us breadcrumbs so that we go crazy right <laughs> but some of it it's like that is cuckoo cuckoo and we all need to take a step back and you know some of it's really like the one two three is cuckoo cuckoo but i was just like <laughs> I love when you guys, talk- I love okay. when anyone else says cuckoo cuckoo. Can kuchu. I also say Jacob Black, not Jacob Black, Taylor Lautner is at the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, why is he there tonight? What's he's, going he's on? There Aaron, Desner, Aaron Desner, also there tonight. Interesting. Florence and the Machine, also there. Oh, are, is Florence and the you Machine going to come out? Jacob Black. I don't know. I would love her to do Florida. She hasn't done Florida yet. Uh, yeah, I want her so to do maybe Florida. she's doing Florida as a surprise song and Florence is coming You know what would be amazing? Everyone on the internet's like, please, Harry Styles, come come be in blank space. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. They feel like they have a good enough relationship now. I feel like they do too. So mm-hmm. I have hope. It's crazy though. By the end of the week, everyone's going to know if this happened or not. So this was all speculation yeah. now. I'm really hoping that during, while we're recording, she announces it today, What's but it's the 19th, not the 20th, but I don't care. <laughs> Uh, Christine from the sh- chat says, did you guys hear the, de- the dedication to Robert yes! from Paramore? Yeah, they go. What'd she say? Haley said, Mr. So, Haley- Watsucky, Mr. Okay, so Waterhouse. this is what she said. I know exactly what she said. So she was like, Suki Waterhouse killed it out here. But this next song, this is for Mr. Waterhouse. <laughs> 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 Rob, That's cute. This is for you. And then it was like, dun, 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 dun. Was it the Twilight <laughs> one? Yeah, it was the code. And she, they don't usually play that in their set, so oh, that's that cute. Because Rob was in the audience. Remember oh, when I rode a I plane with them? <laughs> um, we all <laughs> remember when you rode a plane with them. Oh yeah, and she said, "This, this is the skin of a killer, Bella." <laughs> <laughs> she did. <laughs> she did. Oh my okay, but now someone tonight has to say um, the Jacob line. That's like, "Where the hell have you been, loca?" <laughs> <laughs> They oh gotta like really God. do all the Twilight. References. Why weren't they both at the same show? That would have been so good, ah. like Chef's Kiss. But <laughs> no, they they would absolutely be. That would they need to do that. They need to like also call Jake about. Oh my God! Oh my God! There's. A, <laughs> I just opened up Taylor Swift's Twitter, and this tweet has a gif of a a wolf like sprinting down the street, and it's Taylor Lautner going to London after finding out Haley is Team Edward. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my God, Haim's there too. Damn. Okay, so I feel like maybe she'll bring quite a few people up, or I guess they're just there. But I what? Wish- well, in Reputation, she. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. I'm clowning. It's the nineteenth. <laughs> I know it's the nineteenth, but everybody's there. So I don't know. If she debuts a green acoustic ac- acoustic set dress tonight, I'll shit myself. <laughs> green. Why would oh, oh, for, because for she snake. hasn't shown her she hasn't she worn hasn't green yet for green the snake, for, yeah. Yeah. What about black? She wears well, so I, much I black would though. think black. I would love if she came out in a black dress. Anyway. That's the Taylor Swift news for this week. There's so much I could go into, like, craziness, clown lore, but we're just going to keep moving on. <laughs> Christine, like, sends me things. I, I'm, like, minding my own business, and then I get sent into, like, a tizzy. Not the like, minding my own business. <laughs> and then I'm, like, oh, my God, what if it is? And then, like, if it doesn't happen, I'm, like, okay, I'm not blaming anymore. I do this. not get those texts from Christine. I get... I have boy problems. Can I call you? <laughs> Those are the texts I get from Christine. I also want the conspiracy theories too. I can put them in the group chat, but like when they're just clowning, maybe I don't like like to get everybody excited until we know for sure. See, I won't get excited. I'll probably just tell you you're a clown. <laughs> Which if you don't want that, then I understand. <laughs> no, I think that it's imminent like no it is by it the end is. of august we will know when rep is dropping that is oh, my that's like, a bold taylor making Swift a bold statement. claim this is she is... taking a break after london yeah, yeah she's taking a little break yeah 
I'm also nervous, and I don't, this is maybe me clowning, but I'm kind of nervous about her and Travis right now because she's she been singing crying. all of her sad songs as surprise songs. And she was crying on stage. And she was crying during the show. Yeah, that makes me. But I hope it's just about, like, the fact that she's in London and she's singing all these London songs about her relationship with Joe. Because she's saying a mashup of, like, Coney Island and So Long London and um, Dear John and all this stuff that's, like, very sad. Yeah. If they break up, I will probably cry, which is yeah. honestly stupid. I will cry, too, probably. I will be devastated. Um, I will yeah. be very sad. I hope that it's just, like, I have the nostalgia of I have never gotten so into a celebrity relationship as I have with Travis Have any of us? I don't We're know, so but in it. I was... When I I was breaking up with my like boyfriend who I thought I was gonna marry while Travis and Taylor were getting together, and it is the only thing that like kept me believing in love. <laughs> yeah. So. No, it honestly really renewed my belief in love too. Yeah. Like I think and also a lot someone of us... like also just someone celebrating her to that yes. extent. Yes. But also like he's fully training camp like it is the start of the season yeah he so it, is it so be... incredibly busy and she she might be crying because she misses the fuck misses out of him, him because yeah. they have probably not seen each other in a long time and also there's the time difference and like they were so used to just like flying to each other and seeing each mm -hmm. other and like he cannot do that right now he has yeah. to focus on the chiefs so i think that's also probably the reason part of it yeah yeah and i, I and we can't forget she's in london yeah and all and these she songs, probably is feeling a little nostalgic London boy. and sad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is it is sad to yeah. have to sing these songs in this city that you were in love with this yeah, person. Yeah, and in. last time she was in London, he was there, right? I mean, last time she was in London doing a show, they were together probably still. Because she, she was with Haim. She, she performed with Haim in London, yeah. like right after the breakup. So mm, I don't okay. know. Or right after the separation. They weren't yeah. technically broken up. So I don't know, but it, it, she could be sad for a lot of reasons. I'm just nervous because the song choices have been you know, particularly it is depressing. You know, demure fall. Maybe she's just in her feels. <laughs> it's still August. I know, but everyone, which they can shut the fuck up. I'm not going to lie, but everyone's like, I'm so excited for fall. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> is this summer girly? I'm like, respectfully, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> In other news, I put out a book, like... And it's slayed. Uh, thank you. I put out <laughs> a book a few months ago. Okay. Oh, this is really random, but it's not random. Okay. There was this... I forget how I stumbled across this, but there is a, like, book talk for attached at the hip that's so good that's and her editing's so, so good and i had so much fun listening to it and i only watched it because she had like i loved this in the thumbnail so i knew it was gonna be like good review and not yeah. like something that was gonna devastate me but <laughs> um <laughs> her name is like the great catsby because her name's katie and i feel like she deserves a bigger audience because her editing was so cute and so good and was it i loved the discussion a youtube video yeah, YouTube video. I was going to share it. I, you know, I watched it when I was like running around. I have to still share it because it was you like. You can share it on my socials. That's so cute. Yeah, it was so good. And like, I mean, I, she was just like so fun to listen to talk about all of her thoughts on the book because it was like a really well edited book talk. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm so happy. Oh, for you, you mean book talk like T A L K? T A L K, oh, like shit. I would do. Like you would do. wanted to see something like what OG I would do book talk. for my mm -hmm. book attached Wait, that's to the so hip. Cute. That's she so has cool a video circle. like that. Yeah. You should create um, a playlist of like all the. Well, I can't watch most of them, so oh, I just okay. I like. Do you want me to happens. screen them? <laughs> yeah, if you find a good one. <laughs> okay. Um, but she was great. And so I will link that if anybody wants to watch that and um, subscribe to her because she seems a very talented um, editor and YouTube person, YouTube booktuber. And also um, on the topic of Attached at the Hip, it's out now. 
you can read it if you haven't read it yet. It's a really fun uh, adventure rom-com. It's like Survivor with a romantic twist. Survivor meets The Bachelor in Paradise. You don't have to have watched either of those to enjoy it. And, and if you did enjoy it, it's really, really helpful to me if you go and review it on whatever platform that you read it on. If you got it from Amazon or, I mean, Amazon in general, you can review it there. And it's really helpful to me because they really work off of an algorithm that likes to see more reviews mm -hmm. and also Barnes and Noble or, or Audible. Like Audible. Yeah. Wherever you read it, really helpful. And yeah. I really appreciate all of your time that you put into going to just leave a review over there and it doesn't have to be elaborate. It could be like a sentence and you know, whatever thoughts come to mind, but really appreciate it. Thank you so much. The link to my book is in the show notes if you want to check it out. Um, okay, big news on the Bridgerton front, although it's kind of been like a very soft launch, but they have announced their Sophie Beckett, who is the new love interest in Ooh. season four of Bridgerton, and her name is Yearn Ha, and I... A lot of like Christine was like, Oh, where do we know her from? Like, there's not a lot of things she's been in, which is great. I love someone who's like a newcomer who comes on. She has been in the show Halo. Um, but I'm just, I'm so excited, like, for uh, this diverse casting. Like, we definitely, like, they already have, um, she's, um, I actually don't, she, she's East Asian, right? Yeah. Is that the, yeah, no, she's East correct? Asian, which is like, uh, just so exciting. She's from Australia. Yes. Um, and I think there was so much discourse online about how there was not an East Asian lead or really even like anyone. An Asian that, lead. Well, <clears throat> well, I mean, the lead of, I mean, she's South Asian. Uh, what's her name? The Oh, are you talking about Simone? Kate? Yeah, Simone. Yeah. 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 So she, Kate was South Asian, but there was, there's very little East Asian representation in media. Yeah period that's like across like stage silver screen movies like so there was a lot of you know discourse online like Bridgerton is known for its diverse casting casting why hasn't this happened yet mm -hmm. so I think that honestly the fans had a really big impact in this choice at least I like to believe that so I don't know that that makes yeah. me happy um but it she is, um... is Korean oh, okay she, <clears throat> it is a like rags to riches type of romance story. It's it's a Cinderella basically retelling. Um, so I know that there was a, there has to be a lot of care taken with how you know someone um, is shown in that light um, from the beginning. So, but I'm I'm so glad that they that they went with her um, and that she's cast. She I know a lot of so beautiful. There, <laughs> she's stunning. stunning. I know there's. There was a lot of people who want like a Latina um, cast, and because we there is no mm -hmm. like Latin representation at all, like not mm -hmm. even inside characters um, uh, in the show. So I hope they do some more of that later on. Yeah, I think that like what is so special about Bridgerton is its diversity. I also think because it's diverse, it has opened up the discussion to like, can we get every group included? Which is like almost impossible especially in lead roles, but I do think it's great that they're making this more normalized. Yeah. Yeah. They've already done such a great job. Mm -hmm. It's so funny though, like how they're not making a big to do out of this season compared to Penelope season, like Penelope. Well, Cause we don't know both characters yet. Yeah. And it's, it's sad that we might not ever get that again, uh, unless it's, uh, I don't know, because you know, we know, we knew Colin and we knew Penelope and everyone was like really waiting for the season because she's, you know, um, uh, she's lady, not, what am I? No. Whistle down. Yeah, yeah she's really whistle, whistle down. Yeah. yeah. But I think in a way, though, that made our expectations so high for the season and, and, then and it I kind think of all was of us hard to fulfill it. Disappointed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. so it's nice to have like fresh faces and the fresh story that you kind of go in with new eyes and open minds and oh, all yeah. of that. No, I'm I'm so excited for this season. Benedict, and Benedict is now like confirmed bisexual. So I'm wondering how they're going to explore that as well. Like there's quite a few layers to this season. And also we're going to have a queer story, um, at least in the undertones with... Um, yeah. 
What's, What's her, her name? I know. What is that girl's name that is the other Bridgerton? Eloise. No. No, the other Bridgerton no, that I know. just got married. A B C D E F. Francesca. 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 Oh my God! Why was that so hard for all of us? She's so forgettable. <laughs> Oh, babe. I actually like that they had one of the Bridgertons be shy and like struggle with that. Demure. Of putting herself She's very mindful. Very, demure, very mindful. 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 And technically, Benedict is pansexual. Pan. Okay. Mm-hmm. I listen. If there isn't a threesome, then they are making a mistake. I didn't <laughs> love the threesome in the third season, though. No, but I want no a threesome with emotion it. and feeling. Yeah. Though. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, if he's pan and going to end up married to a woman, clearly, we need some exploration. We need some, like, I, I don't know. I, I think that that's kind of sad to, like, be like oh by the way he's pan and we're gonna have him just be with a woman now like i don't mm-hmm. love that i would like to see some more exploration before he gets to the oh i'm married forever and in love mm-hmm. all right moving on here i didn't even know this was filming but knives out three just finished filming mm. i had no idea who was cast in it but mila kunis is in it josh brolin Glenn Close, obviously Daniel Craig, Andrew Scott, Ooh. Jeremy Renner. Oh my gosh. Is and it's called Wake Up that Dead Man. Insane. Insane cast. I am so excited. I <laughs> I love the casts of these movies. It's just so fun to see the spread of people that they have in there. Um, but I have no idea when it's coming out. They're probably gonna drop it randomly. <laughs> It'll probably be pretty sometime quickly. next year. Yeah. Pretty quickly. Yeah. Maybe in um, time for Oh, yeah, next year. I was like, in time for Christmas. God, that's like <laughs> Not Christmas. I think next year. Yeah. They just wrapped filming. It's August. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Do you want to talk yeah. about... Uh, here. Tickets are available for the Blood Moon Ball. If you guys are interested, it is on October 26th here in downtown LA. Um, uh, it's going to be a dark fantasy ball. And you can dress up or cosplay or get in your costume for Halloween. And I am so excited for this one, guys. It's going to be in a gothic church. So tickets are on sale if you're interested at lovesteria.com. I also have a hotel code or discount code. This one, this guy's in Anaheim, but like if you want to do Disneyland the next day, you could possibly move down here. Um, so for D23, I stayed at the Westin. Uh, the Element by Weston Anaheim Resort Convention Center Hotel, which is like a little down. It's like a little walk from Disneyland and um, so nice. They provide you with such good breakfast, free breakfast every morning. Ooh, like I love waffles. a free breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Like they had good breakfast. Waffles? Yeah. Ooh, full on waffles. Okay. Did you have to make them yourself with the thing no. or was it real waffles? No, they were real like Belgium Shit. waffles. Exciting. They had like little um, like egg bites and they had different like meat every single day but anyways uh i loved it so if you guys want to stay near disneyland at any point um you can get 10 percent off their stay with the code b0599 i don't understand why they gave me that instead of like a toshopolis code but just go with it okay um and you can get 15 dollars off your parking which is going to be like technically free so Ooh. if you go in and you want to stay 10% off the discounted stay. It's already a really cheap hotel, like per night. It's like under $200. Um, and the rooms are so nice. So I highly recommend I stayed there for four nights for D23. Oh, hey. Okay. All right. Um, do you want to say this, Chloe? Oh, well, we're going to Romance Con in literally a couple weeks, and the three of us are going to be there, and it's going to be so much fun. So we can't wait to hang out with y'all. But if you can't go, I was just going to say, we're going to be very active on the socials, and it'll be so much fun. So follow along there. Um, and if you are going to be there, don't forget to like come up to us and hang out, and we just can't wait. It'll be so good. We are excited. Ooh, Very ooh, excited. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I've right. decided that I'm going to wear my Jane Austen dress on our panel day. 
Oh, oh, nice. I literally was going to text everyone today and be like, we have this, 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 and this to decide, and I need everyone to get their heads in the game. So I'm glad that no you... I have no outfits yet. Yeah, okay. Well, so we're going to get our heads in the game tonight, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to order some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to rent from Newly. <laughs> um, Genius. Genius. Yeah, you don't need to buy a whole fucking wardrobe. You can spend 90 bucks and rent six different outfits. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't put this out there until they sponsor you because they will. So, oh, well, <laughs> if I put my code down, I get money. So. Oh, okay, okay. Y'all okay. want to use Newly? Use my code down below or my link. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I think I'm going to wear that like um, pink set that I have if you guys are down to wear From pink your birthday shoe? Days. No. From, From the like the Saint Gasset, like the designer one. Whatever, I'll send you a picture. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I've only one, I've oh, only have Christine's closet in my mind. I don't know about <laughs> Chloe. If I've if, if I've seen you in things, then it's like yes. more it's like a little more organized. Okay. No, no. I mean, I can't really, like when she wears organized. things. Like I can go like. Oh, that's because I very I very rarely wear things twice unless it's like the two outfits that I wear all the time. All right, we're going to move on to, into, all right, we're going to move on into what right now, what have y'all been reading? I just finished Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, and I just finished Just for the Summer last ah, night. So good. So good. Uh, she, I Abby, bawled reading that book. Bald. Dude, I thought it was going to be a more... Um, happy, fluffy, fluffy yeah. book. Mm-hmm. They're never happy, fluffy book. And like, well, part of your still... world, we all okay. If anyone read Part of Your World first, we all kind of got bamboozled because that one's the best one in my opinion. Well, that's the least heavy one, but she always has something in there to well, like yeah, bring and... some heavy drama. I mean, I like that the characters are so substantial, and you really yeah. feel for them, and like you understand their pain and their trauma i think better than most romance authors that shit hit real close to home for me Mm -hmm. and i know it probably did for you natasha i know it probably did for you christine so by the end of the book your girl was bawling her eyes out (laughs) so yeah i uh (laughs) i definitely i i love this one and and i was just i was getting so frustrated because oh my god i know it is it, she's a very frustrating character to read but i was i was like i love the cover like it's gonna be so cute like they're just gonna do all these like summery fun things no <laughs> <laughs> but the main character justin is so sweet gosh i i, I loved it. i devoured it i got I mean, I through it really both, quickly they're both such beautiful people and i'm yes. glad that the end is at least hopeful and happy well you know you always know yeah. gonna that she's gonna end it yeah. with a happy ending that's that's she cuts happen. it real close <laughs> 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 kind of what i've learned like uh abby Jimenez, like she is a true like romance book writer she's mm-hmm. got maybe one or two spicy scenes but those scenes that have like that they're spicy, earned though. Yeah, and, and they're not that spicy. And they're, they're not like, that spicy, which I'm fine with because great. Okay, like, Christine, shush. Um, well, they are great. They're really good. <laughs> they are I, great, I but they're like really those. not that spicy. They just yes. have four. Pets. And I feel like I feel like people who are are in the new like romance, they like really want like a like a spicy spicy book, and I just have to oh, tell no, them they the, want. Like, S- disgusting no nasty i know that well, the thing is like a lot of those aren't like the best books overall for sure yeah, and i'm so is, glad like, that we have overall her. fantastic books yeah. she yeah. puts out and like i feel like a good like like abby jimenez and then like christina lawrence they also have really fun stories but they also have a little bit better like spicy scenes mm-hmm. in them mm-hmm. but no, like you're I, not every... using Abby Jimenez to masturbate. Like that's, that's like that's no my level re... of. <laughs> yeah, you are. I don't know. I mean, she's for play. Play. To each she's own, for play. I don't know. I I feel like she has. I I think it's everyone has their own their own. This um, is a taste of what we're doing at Ro- Romance Con. Yeah, so, <laughs> we're like, literally we're gonna I... argue about smut. That's what's happening. <laughs> Like, and I think that Abby Jimenez has the perfect amount because when, for me, if it's just like so much smut, I'm just like, I don't care about anything. I care so much about these characters 
and um, well, but so that's why it's deeply almost... understand them and their backgrounds and why they are the way they well, are. That's almost why it's not enough for me because I'm so in love with her characters and because I care so much for them. Like the sex is almost it's even better. It's like sex in real life. When you care so deeply for someone and you love someone, the sex is so much better than But we it's go like... through the whole sex. Like espe- like in that book we see the whole sex scene down in the basement. Mm-hmm. From start to finish. No, what basement? Yes, we do. Scene? No. Yes, we do. They're in the sick they're in the cottage scene. That they're in the No. Oh, I'm talking about the other book, sorry. Yours truly, they have those. <laughs> Yours truly has a, like has has a good sex scene. It's like okay. it's one, it's one, but just yeah, because but that's it's what you're like saying, a very earned, earned sex yeah, scene. Earned. Yeah, um, yeah. Just for summer has like one, and then they talk about other how they've yeah. It's true. There, it, Katie said this in the chat. There is no right or wrong. I think Natasha and I just like a little more smut than Christine, and we really are like the varied levels of it. Um, but I do think that Abby Amen is like her writing is you, she's like one of those people that everyone should read. And I fully, fully believe that. Also check your trigger warnings guys. Cause I, I had a yeah. trigger in, in one of hers. I could not get through it. So like Christine had to tell me, I tweeted this, no threads it. How do you thread something? I don't know. I wrote, I did, <laughs> I posted on threads and I, as like a reminder, it is okay to skip or skim read scenes that trigger you and you still finished the book and you Mm -hmm. still are a real fan because like I I was having this debate with someone and they were judging me and I just had to fast forward through a scene and I was like that is not fair like you take care of yourself because popular media has gotten so heavy and especially with the fantasy reread there's like torture and there's like really really Mm -hmm. deep 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 trauma that is being written about talked about shown on tv take care of yourself fast forward when you need to does not make you any less than of a fan no this happens to me a lot because like the medical stuff so and she Mm -hmm. puts a lot of medical stuff in her books especially yours truly i would have to skim the sections about Mm -hmm. um there's a character with a certain like disease happening mm-hmm. and I could not read like the specifics. So mm-hmm. just kind of like skim those paragraphs and yeah. keep going. And like in, um, was it the Adam thing? Silvera's new, they both die at the end sequel. Like I couldn't, I was dying reading that. Mm-hmm. And, Cause it's just a lot like about this character has a heart thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I just kept trying to get past it cause I love Adam Silvera's books, but I couldn't get through the book without feeling like sick. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had to stop reading. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not it's not a big deal to not kill yourself to yeah. read certain sections. Well, I was about to say I'm reading Throne of Glass and which everyone knows now, but I'm on Air of Fire and throughout this series so far, I've had to definitely skip 30 seconds or so of of um of writing because it's been like difficult and hard to digest but it's really getting good i texted christine i was like when does this book get good i'm I was sick like, of keep it going <laughs> but keep no it's it's going. very good it's very good now um and i also have a recommendation for the cowgirl slash hockey smut girlies i found a book and i love elsie silver so if you're like a cowgirl cowboy smut person pick her books up but mm. this is cowboy and hockey which is like oh. the perfect amalgamation of my loves yes it literally is perfect so it's called powerless and it's um dominant man submissive woman hockey cowboy so if mm. that's your thing and it's totally mine it's so good i get this itch around this time for like sport romances because mm-hmm. of football mm-hmm. so i love me like a football <laughs> a football vibe absolutely yeah. absolutely the um romance bookstore near me has an entire section of sports romance right now so yeah. i'll go look for you maybe i'll pick you up <laughs> some stuff all right um i'm reading slow dance by rainbow Rowell. i'm on, like 130 pages in now and i'm just like really enjoying like she has a rainbow has her the way that she writes is different from a lot of like the romance writers that i've been reading in the past couple years and it's been a long time since i read a rainbow book and i just think like reading widely is really helpful as a writer to um kind of just be exposed to a lot of different styles and i'm enjoying being back in like 
like shy people. I was about land. to say she is like very demure, very mindful, she's the shy very cutesy. <laughs> like yeah. that is Rainbow Rowell. <laughs> Um, and this book is told across like a lot of years and I really like seeing how she did that specifically like in her rainbow railway, um, we're kind of jumping from high school and college and to 33. So it's, it's been really interesting also to read about like a woman who's 33 and has two kids and like is divorced and all that stuff. Um, does, is she one of those writers who like, do you think enhances your writing yes mm. um i like i've talked about this before but i like to read books where like i feel like the writing is better than i could do so that i can learn from like them mm-hmm. um and when i'm reading a writer like when i'm writing that necess- not isn't necessarily like you know where i would be like wow this is amazing writing i kind of feel like i'm i'm not feeding my brain what it needs to grow so all right let's try to move a little quicker through movies and tv because we spent a lot of time not doing our main thing so what movies have we watched this week alex drug me to see alien romulus and i thought you said drugged me (laughs) that's what it sounded like i was like holy crap (laughs) intense she dragged you yeah 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 Yeah. (laughs) alex dragged me to see alien romulus drugged me (laughs) in theaters and I actually really did enjoy it um I have seen the alien movies since I was <laughs> the age of 10 so young for these movies um and I never like really loved them but I like liked them enough because like there's always like a female lead um which is I think why I kept always like watching them uh and this one's no different we've got like a really good like female lead and she's awesome and it's like a really fun action movie Uh, a lot of like really good like cyberpunk vibes Uh, really enjoyed it and I was like you know hiding behind my shirt a lot of the times (laughs) and being like Um, Nicole says how scary is it it's uh it's it's pretty scary there's there's a there's if you've seen alien like you already know what the creature looks like this the xenomorph um so the shock and awe is kind of already gone uh but you're just like you just always root for these characters to survive and um uh the very end like the third act is fucking psycho and <laughs> creepy as fuck so just... i will not be going uh anywhere yeah. near that movie so if that makes you feel better, Nicole. Yeah, not for me. No, um, the movie is definitely not for everyone. But if you have a brother I can who feels the to bile go see rising things. in my throat, oh, if I had a man that was like, "You must go see this with me," I would see it and I would hide under my like hoodie yeah. the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I was like literally like in. So Alex do that, and I was like Nicole. <laughs> yeah, hide in your hoodie while your husband enjoys his movie. <laughs> Solutions. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor messaged me. She's like, she's like, uh, Chris got me ticket, got his tickets, but I uh, was complaining about it so bad that he returned them. Should I go see oh, it? I'm like, oh, that is so Taylor. It. That is so Taylor. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the one oh I closed god. the whole time is mm-hmm. real. What about you, Chloe? Um, I have been on like a mermaid kick because it's summer and i just love a mermaid movie for summer so my recommendation is that everyone goes and watches a mermaid movie aquamarine the 13th year which is so good and it's like a merman which is like rare and then barbie obviously mermaid tale one and mermaid Ma- mermaid tale two but if you're looking for like a fun summer vibe those are all good and i promise they actually are good even the barbie ones that are like direct to dvd so <laughs> <laughs> nice. I haven't watched any movies this week, but I was listening to the Ki Hu Kwan episode of Armchair Expert today. I just want to recommend it because it is like the sweetest story mm-hmm. I've ever heard. Like he has such a beautiful story, and I don't know if you guys know who he is. He was uh because he was in the second Indiana Jones yeah. movie in 1984, mm-hmm. and then he was in the Goonies. Yes, and yes. he's so then- sweet. He was in everything, everywhere, all his at Oscar, once. His Oscar speech Dr. went Jones. super viral. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was, yeah, he had this beautiful speech and he worked with Steven Spielberg when he was so young mm-hmm. and then had this time in between like his really huge movies where like he wasn't working and he really loves acting and he got to come back to film and it, it just, 
it I the whole time I'm just like this is the sweetest thing I'm like I want to cry because how beautiful his story is like he was in like a Hong Kong like refugee camp like he he came to um so he inspiring. came to California after a year in that camp and was living in Chinatown in LA and the casting people came to his school like <laughs> looking for someone for Wait, Indiana that's Jones. So cute. That's crazy. Oh like it's gosh. she just had such Armchair an amazing life story. Can really like hit you right in the chest. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to listen to like a really inspiring, like really sweet story, um definitely check out that episode. Oh, I will yeah i will check it out (laughs) i will tv what have you been watching christine um okay i just finished the dallas cowboys cheerleaders documentary so good it was very good i cried a lot for those women me too (laughs) um and i just i was resistant to going into it because it always just bothered me that they're called the dallas cowboy cheerleaders when they're like a professional dance team and they don't do like the typical cheerleading stuff which is like tumbling yeah. and stunting which is like my favorite part of cheerleading that's most um, nfl cheer cheerleading teams they're all dance teams our dance yeah. teams yeah um and but this really gave me an appreciation for what they do do and for what these the coaches put them yeah. through and the whole everything they are intense just, athletes it's very mm-hmm. intense um, and I never thought that dancers weren't intense athletes. Yeah. I just like wanted them to see, wanted them to do stunts mm-hmm. and tumbling and all that shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's great. It's on Netflix. And I watched Emily in Paris season four, part one. I forgot. Had a it fun was in time. Two parts. I was like, <sighs> I want to finish it. <laughs> I <thought that>. Yeah. <laughs> the second part will be out in September, so it'll be out soon. Um. I hate I hate these two parts. I started watching Emily in Paris and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop and just wait until the second part is out because Talk I your can't. Shit. I can't. Talk Unless it's Bridgerton, I am not watching it in two parts. Um I'm watching everything in two parts. I don't wanna wait. <laughs> we all know I don't watch TV. Um, but <laughs> Post Malone came out with a new album and it's a country album. And I just want to recommend it because it's fabulous. If you like more traditional country, start with disc two and then go to disc one. And if you're more of a pop person, go to disc one first and then listen to disc two. I love how all these artists are now like, I'm going to go country. Because they all like country music and it wasn't cool. And now it is. So they're like, oh, I'm going to finally do what I want to do. Post Malone is from Texas. What do you think he was No, no, I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying this is a trend. I'm just saying like everyone is a trend country for so long, but it is becoming a trend. It is a trend. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of annoyed sometimes because stagecoach tickets get sold out now. Um, People are like, oh, I love country music. Music and I'm like, I was there in the trenches. I was there in the trenches when everyone else was telling me that I was listening to shit. Anyways, if you grew up on country music, you know what I'm saying. But I do like that now at least it's widely available and people aren't bullying me for it. So Yeah, well that was like the beginning of Taylor Swift's career and they're like, Ew, you like country? And I was like, I love Taylor Swift. Excuse me. <laughs> what are you saying about country? <laughs> um, all right. All right. We're going to get on to our main discussion. We just had an hour's worth of lead up. We had a lot of Taylor Swift stuff to talk about um, and other stuff. So we're getting into the twilight zone. But before we do, we're going to take a second and thank everybody out there for being here with us today. We really appreciate you. We love our podcast community. If you're not already, we'd love it if you followed us for free on your podcast app so that you never miss an episode. And it's that's easy and free. And if you like to watch the show, we're on YouTube, youtube.com slash at those forking fangirls. You can subscribe there for free and never miss a video episode. And then... If you want to get even more involved with the, those forking fangirls community, we are a viewer supported show. So we have a patron. We don't a Patreon. We don't really get sponsorships, so we couldn't do this without our Patreon community. We love everyone over there at the five dollar level, which is called Team Jacob. You get the show ad free. You get to come to the recordings and put your two cents into the chat and be a part of the conversation, and you get 
the fangirl tea time which is our extra half an hour show that is attached to ed the main show if you're a patron so every show you get an extra half an hour plus of content and there are fun stories more personal stories um just discussions that we wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable like for everyone hearing but for our more intimate community so it's really fun we love it over there and then the $10 tier, you get bonus episodes. And the $15 tier, you get to fill out a form to be on the show. And you get to come to fangirl bonding sessions every month, which is really fun. Um, Christine said, fangirl tea time is the highlight of my week. Thank you, Christine. That's so nice. And I'm, I'm talking about Christine in the chat, not me. Just so everybody I think knows. we just need to make Christine Christine in the chat. Yeah. Christine in the chat. Christine from the chat that says, fangirl tea time is the highlight of my week. That's so Christine sweet. Christine in the chat. <laughs> we will be right back after these messages unless you are a patron we're gonna go right back into the main discussion okay all right folks this is what we're doing this week we each have to ask out five twilight characters okay <laughs> and we have to craft why we want to ask them out how are we gonna ask them out and what we're gonna do on our first date when Christine first put out this topic, I was like, what is this? <laughs> oh, you guys, I had so much fun. I had so much yeah. fun doing this and I, and it will be unhinged. <laughs> I feel like I crafted I love like, topics like I feel like I crafted like little mini fanfics. Oh, 100%. Yeah, that's 100%. why this is so fun. Excuse me. Everyone, right. if you are a Twilight fan, go do this. Low key. Go like, <laughs> go like miniature fanfics. Cause I've always wanted to write one, but I've never like had the time to commit to something long or even a one shot. But these are like little vignettes of like your life into forks. Yeah. So do you want me to go one-shot. first and then we'll rotate through like asking yeah. one person out? Okay. So I'm starting with a classic. Like, obviously, I'm going to ask out Edward Cullen. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, like, I love him. He's Edward. I want, him to, I want him to write <laughs> scores of my life. I want him to help me write. Um, help scores. Me. Scores. Yes. I want him to help me with content. He can help me with so many special effects because he's, like, so you fast. You want Edward Cullen to be your Instagram husband? Yes, I do. <laughs> and I want him to be my own personal doctor. He's so smart. I could always ask him stuff and he would like know exactly what's going on. And then eventually we could be vampires together. Um, so this is where I plan on how I plan on like catching him, pulling Edward. Catching so him. I have to find him like on the subway. Okay. So like maybe um, in New York City. Oh, what? okay. What? We're in a different place. I'm like, Forks has like, a subway now. Love. Okay. No, Just, no, no. I Infrastructure. Wrote mine as like, you're writing yours as like AU. Like, is Edward a vampire? That's okay. That's okay. No, hey, Edward is a vampire. Like whatever you want. He's he just said that she would okay. eventually be a vampire too. So I'm assuming he's a vampire. He's oh, a vampire. Okay. okay. All right. Why but is he he's taking be... public transit then? Because he's, he's visiting New York, New York City. And he wants the New York City experience. Okay. <laughs> so he is on a subway and he's just being bombarded with like people's thoughts right so he's having like a fun time <gasps> that would and be crazy on a subway yes yes yeah i thought this through <laughs> okay so i am also sitting on the subway and i know that that's edward cullen nobody else does and i'm just gonna start talking to him in my head like hi i see you i know you can hear me <laughs> And then he'll look at me and be like, yeah, I'm talking to you. I can't read minds, but I know you can. Um, and I want to get to know you better. <laughs> oh, my what God. A little invasive, but like all hot. the time. Um, nobody ever does that to him. Okay. He likes Bella because she's the only person that can hear him. And I'm going to be the only person that knows that he can hear me. <laughs> he can't hear her. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, well, technically, um, his whole family knows that they, he can hear them. Yeah. yeah, but it's different with a random on the <laughs> That's subway. That's true. A okay? rando on the subway is pretty it is insane. Different. So in this situation, you know he's Edward Cullen. So is he like... Yes. So you've read Twilight or what? what's the so situation? So I, I know Bella's story you know because... You Bella's story. Is she dead? Yeah. Where is she? Are yeah, they where divorced? Is she? Yeah, she's been dead for a hundred years. Oh. Oh. So yeah. it's 20... <laughs> It's, it's 21 2100 oh, <laughs> are you already a vampire then? <laughs> who 
I, we're just like suspending our disbelief with <laughs> the way uh, we're like plot holes, plot holes. <laughs> okay. um, he would definitely off himself if she died. <laughs> All right, we know he, he would didn't. off himself. Yeah, they but both he didn't because of his are family. So mentally uh, unwell. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me cook, as Sam said. <laughs> Let her cook. All right. Okay. okay so, so if he what would you decides, say to him then i'm i'm telling you i want to get to know you better and if he decides to ignore me i'm gonna like prick my finger with like <laughs> a little nail That's clipper fucking crazy <laughs> <laughs> oh wait you're so gonna you're like, sell oh. oh i got no just a little prick with a little clipper just to get a little paper cut and oh, I, I want even planning this. Oh my god! And I <laughs> this is crazy. Just a little paper cut, and I am gonna be like, "Oh, do I have your attention now?" Hi. Uh, oh, I was god. talking to you this whole time, <laughs> and I'm just. I want to take you out. Can we go get some food? <laughs> You're the food. You did a paper cut. You're the food. I know, and I'll be like, "I know you think I'm the food, but I'm actually your next girlfriend." <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy you know um okay and then i'll be like asking him if he wants to go on a date and i will take him to a music shop and be like i know you love music and i wanted to present you with all things you would need to um I, write christine's you're lullaby like a stalker in this situation he's he gonna be like why do you know so much about me he is a stalker so he likes stalkers <laughs> Okay, so that's my Edward Cullen date. <laughs> he would love Evermore. <laughs> he would love folklore too. He, yeah, I um, know Edward for sure would like Taylor Swift. Metal. This is 2008 levels of unhinged. That's what you have to tap into for this oh, metal. Oh, um, sure. Christine is 2008 levels of unhinged. <laughs> Period. Emily, where do I pre order this story? <laughs> I just have to also say that all of I had to literally tap into fifteen year old Natasha, and so just just you're tapping just, into fifteen. I'm tapping into eleven. I'm <laughs> tapping into eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Chloe is biting people on the play. <laughs> the way that um, the way that that's on the internet forever. <laughs> all right, Natasha, you want to go next? Okay, I'm also starting out. With the classic, the one and only, the one truly. Emmett. Edward. Oh, you're doing Edward too. I'm doing Edward first. Okay. Boring. So, like, I, <laughs> listen, just mine get, Excuse mine me. start get to get your business. unhinged. <laughs> I just want to say my list probably has uh, people that none of y'all have on your list. Okay. Um, same. Same. I um, haven't looked at your list yet. Same. Okay. <laughs> Um, Christine, no, you've got the classics yeah, up yeah. there. No, Christine, I you're don't. Doing, babes, I, I don't think you missed one. No, I saw all of yours are basic bitch. except one. <laughs> okay, so um, Edward was my teenage girl dreamboat. So, like, I have always imagined him like coming in and rescuing me from my boring life when I was like reading the books. Like, I had like oh. dreamed up these scenarios of like. If I was like walking to my car and I dropped my keys and then he would just be there to like pick them to up. Catch them like he does. For <laughs> <me>. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. And he was just like so mature and he was fun and sexy and he was obsessed mature? with Bella. Okay, oh my not, goodness. He was a grandpa, okay? But also Maybe not. Age he was. was. No, he's he, not. He mature. was mature in some ways and 17 in others. Yes, <laughs> very much. Um, and he was obsessed with Bella, so he could be, he could be obsessed with me. I have brown hair and true and yeah, you're honestly prettier. Uh, Sorry. Thank you. And more interesting <laughs> and have more personality. So there's that. All right. Let's not bash Bella. <laughs> well, but the, are all those things true though? Yes. N uh, we don't, I feel like it's so mean saying that Bella doesn't have a personality. I didn't so I say she didn't have a personality. I just said that Natasha had more of one. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it was the assumption that Bella doesn't have. No, one. no, no, no. You're putting words in my mouth. I just said Natasha's just, more. What fun. do you think? Okay. okay, like what's my baseline? Bella? No, <laughs> no. I'm just saying. I hate Bella bashing. I feel like it's so mean. No, we're not bashing her. Anyways, um, <laughs> I just I do have all the very similar interests. To Bella, I love Jane Austen, mm -hmm. and I have brown hair, and I am from warm climate. <laughs> There you go. The trifecta. I am from warm climate. I am, I am warm. Yes. 
And I am brunette. <laughs> okay. In all of mine, I am I am in the Twilight universe, okay? So I am in high school with the Cullens. I am in before Bella yeah, is are. there, okay? okay? So let's say, like, I'm in, like, our... He's I don't a know, sophomore. Yeah, like our freshman year or something. Sophomore. Or... <laughs> well, the year before. Let's yeah, say yeah. I'm in the year before. Um, so we go to high school together. But I forgot about his reading mind thing. So this whole premeditated thing might not work. Okay. Um, (laughs) So, and I was also like, I, okay, let's just say I develop a crush on Edward. Okay. At Mm -hmm. school. Like I'm kind of obsessed with him, even though like everyone's like kind of standoffish offish of them. I'm like, no, I really, I'm really like intrigued by them. And so I find myself one day hiking near their house and (laughs) I by myself. So dangerous. Very dangerous. Um, I do it. I would get myself into a situation that I would need to be saved. And okay. he'd be listening, being like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Alice will have seen this coming up. Um, and I would definitely have a wound of some kind. A wound. And my wound. Phone- a wound a wound oh. my phone is dead i'm now just calling out for help like hoping someone will hear me and lo and behold edward comes and saves me i'm hoping it's him okay i, I hope it's him because listen we're in the same any grade. of any of the men any of the color listen men, any of them would but be edward great. in this situation obviously yes um so let's say he does help me um and that uh, let's say his secret identity known yet so he'll have to oh okay so i don't know his secret identity yet so he has to like now human walk me out of the woods and human so now walk you yeah like slow so oh you put on her back i, I back can't spider monkey him okay yeah. and so now i got all this time to talk to him and I'll talk about his interests and, and mm. or like ask him about his interests and he'll ask me about mine and he'll get me to the hospital to see his dad. And then before he leaves, I and I'm going to ask him what the safest routes to hike and <sighs> and and ask if he'll go with me someday. So that's oh, how I will ask him okay. out. Yes, this this feels real. This He'd be like, can you at least watch where you're going? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> probably. Um, yeah, he probably would be like a little snippy with me, knowing him. Um, and if he ignores me, he won't ignore me in the situation. Because I'm going to ask him what the safest routes are. Um, so he has but if, to respond. If, if I'm rejected, I'll just keep getting myself into sticky situations and see what happens. Oh, the, the two of you. <laughs> oh, the two of you oh are like, God. what if Listen, I just hurt myself? That is crazy. All That's right. crazy. I didn't hurt myself. I just used a little nail clipper to just draw a little blood. <laughs> Christine, that is... Mine's worse. Yours is worse. It's <laughs> both. Natasha's is way worse. <laughs> Natasha's turning into Bella New Moon. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're, Literally. You both, yeah, they're both crazy. Oh, my God. The Self-destructive behavior for the sake of a man. Don't do this in real life. Yes, we're trained no, professionals. We're definitely <laughs> not. We're not trained professionals. Don't listen to them. This Also, <laughs> do not flirt this way either. Please. <laughs> This is just for the plot of this episode. <laughs> just, just for the plot. Uh, I am not asking out Edward because I didn't really like Edward. <laughs> I still don't. Um, <laughs> Shots. Is this not dating advice? <laughs> no, it is not dating advice. Actually, mine, I think mine low-key might not dating advice. be a little bit dating advice. But All right. Go ahead, Chloe. Give um, us your first person. Obviously, my first person is Charlie Swan <laughs> because he is daddy- by far the most normal person in all of the books, by the way. Um, but yeah, like my, my daddy issues are a little like on the forefront here, but I want to heal Charlie's wounds. Like <laughs> he's funny. He's hot. He's got that mustache. He like fills out a flannel really well. And he's, <laughs> and he's a homeowner. Um, listen he's got all of my boxes like that's like basically my dream man um and his former wife left him basically for no reason other than being bored 
and I want to show him that I wouldn't abandon him and he's deserving of love. Um, he also like very much took care of Bella, even though she was like a whiny bitch. Sorry. <laughs> she was his child. But, yes. But like he tried to comfort her when she, she was, was depressed. His daughter. Right. But some of us didn't have dads that did that. So I know, but just saying the whiny bitch is so <laughs> sorry. I, no, I mean, the dad did think that I thought it. <laughs> Anyways, he's the only safe You're person in this town. Like Meredith Blake, <laughs> from Parent you Trap. You mean like the really sexy blonde woman from mm-hmm. Parent Trap? Oh yeah. no! Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I would definitely be Bella's like evil step mommy. <laughs> I would just tell her to stop being a whiny bitch. Someone needs to tell her that. Okay, uh, I'm obviously gonna corner him in, or bump into him at the lodge, which is like the diner. Um, and we're going to bond over our love of burgers, old school diners, and like that we always order the same thing because we know that it's like our favorite and that there's nothing wrong with that. So we're going to bond over that. We're going to like maybe sit at the bar on stools next to each other. I'm going to be sipping on my Diet Coke and we're just going to (laughs) like fall into easy conversation. Um, I think Charlie is probably one of those men that are like not oblivious to any like advances like i yeah. feel like he like that gives charlie yeah he, mm-hmm. he you gotta not be subtle with him so i think i'm gonna be loud about my attraction he's <sighs> like i said stone cold fox but like clueless okay so i'm gonna be a little bold and you know because he's a sheriff i'm gonna say you can put me in cuffs anytime you want oh my sheriff god <laughs> this is so loud <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, I feel like he would blush so hard. He would, he would blush, like, but then he'd be like, oh, excuse me, and like run into five people on the right. way to the door. Okay, so if he, if he like leaves and he's like, whoa, like, but I mean, obviously he thought it was hot because, yeah, duh. he's just too shy. He's too shy, but he definitely is into that. Anyways, um, <clears throat> if he ignores me, uh, obviously the solution is I become a cop and I just like work <laughs> under him. I look like I feel like I'd rock the slick back bun and I'd I'd like look good in my uniform and every morning I'd bring him donuts so in this situation if he ignores me he wouldn't I would follow him to it's fine um but it's like more of a slow burn and eventually he'll just give in to the fact that I'm the love of his life um and then on our first date we're gonna go to the shooting range (laughs) we know charlie likes his guns so he can like stand behind me and like position my hips and then like put his hands over me as we pull the trigger together very like princess diaries 2 like (laughs) princess amelia and like nicholas vibe um so that's my my love story with charlie and we love i'm just gonna i would look so cute like walking around and like cooking him breakfast in his flannel (laughs) and like i i don't know i just i just love us like i i would marry him (laughs) (laughs) all right that's cute um okay so the next person i'm gonna ask all is bella swan um because like we're both old souls and we both love reading and like we're both like very into making decisions and never changing our minds after we make <laughs> the decision. Very true. <laughs> I related so hard to that <laughs> of oh her gosh. when I was first reading. Um, and okay, so this is my plan. So I'm not gonna like corner her anywhere specifically. I'm going to when she's outside on the sunny days reading her books on her little blanket. I'm gonna come and put my blanket it like a couple feet away and lay down and read my book and then after Cute. a few minutes i'll be like good book <clears throat> and like, she'll be like yeah i've read it like a hundred times and i'll be like oh i'm reading throne of glass and we should like maybe do like a reading club together Ooh. or something mm. but if she ignores me which she might because she's a quiet girl i am going to be like wait five minutes and be like hey good book and then if she ignores me again i'll like wait five minutes and be like so are you reading a good book oh my god and <laughs> Because with Bella, persistence is key, as we've seen through Why proof of Jacob. Why are all of your situations a little stalkery? <laughs> Again, this is <laughs> this is what Bella likes. Yeah. I don't know what you read. <laughs> she literally like loves the guy who thinks that she smells bad. <laughs> um, 
And then on our first date, I am, we're going to go to the library and we're going to, <laughs> I'm going to like get one of those little tables and like put out a bunch of snacks. Oh, and then I will give her a book and I'll read the same book. Forget, and then like, forget Bella, me. This is how you learn me. <laughs> You're trying to date me. And yeah, so we'll both be reading the same book. And then like after a chapter, maybe we'll like have some snacks and like whisper about it. And cute. And go back to reading. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be cute. The library part <laughs> is super cute. But like, yeah, I guess she does need someone to be like, hello. Hi, I'm here. I want to date you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot though. She needs persistence. That's, this is like, literally how my boyfriend and I got together. We like started talking about books. So it works. Oh, we love well, a conversation about books. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Who's next for you, Natasha? Alice is on Ooh, my list. She's um, so hot. <clears throat> yes. So Alice is basically basically me. You in guys, yeah. Form. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, we yeah, we are the same person, and I have like always been in love with Ashley Green. I think she's like the prettiest person ever, and <laughs> she is. I just. <laughs> um like when we went to forks i just was like always staring at her <laughs> wait is she yeah, that pretty her last year. in real life yeah yes yes she's that pretty in real life and very she's so like dainty very mm. dainty very demure very, <laughs> very cute very <laughs> 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 you see how i talk about ashley green okay um <laughs> Um, okay, so we definitely go to the same high school together at this point. Um, Jasper's not in the in. He's not. He doesn't exist. Okay, so like, he barely does well. anyway. So it's- <laughs> yeah, he really barely yeah. does anyway. Like sh- I don't understand her obsession with Jasper, but that's okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so it's that Civil War vibe. I don't know. It's that yeah. historic vibe. So obviously things don't work out with Edward. I'm gonna move on to the next sibling. Um, <laughs> Um, there we go. So, Full plu- foolproof. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Edward and Alice are in the same grade. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to have a class together and I will like, I'll see her and I'll be like, oh my God, she's so pretty. Like, I want to get to know her. And also like her fashion sense is mm. like so cool. Mm-hmm. And so like, mm-hmm. we're going to sit t- like next to each other in some way or fashion and I'm not sure if she likes girls at this point. So she's always um, given me femme pixie lesbian vibes. Yes. <laughs> um, so like on the way out of school, like we'll like talk and chat for like weeks and weeks on end and like find out that we both really love fashion and like she knows how to sew and I know how to sew and <laughs> you know how to sew. I know how to sew. Yeah. And let's sew together. Yeah. And, like, let's design something together. Ooh, that'd be and cute. so like on the oh, way out of cute. school, I'll stop her before she heads out with her siblings and like everyone has left by now um, so that like no one's like around lingering. And I'll tell her like, oh, I think you're really pretty. I think we have like so much in common. I think you're really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, and just so happens, Chapel Roan is playing in Seattle <gasps> like next Peak. month. And I think... Like, we should maybe, like, make outfits together and go to the concert together. Oh, my God. And then I send send you out in my car. In the car. (laughs) And then we'll get ready at my house together. And it'll be, like, you know, a girl's evening. And we'll go and have, like, the best time at the concert together. And hopefully, like, between one of the songs, we'll kiss. And um, hot to go. Yeah, H-O-T-O-T-O-T-O. or feminine nominon, or after midnight. Any of those? So, so good. I honestly ship you more with Alice than I do with Edward. And yeah, that's same. my truth. I like this plot. I yeah, also this is my, like, like most down you to with one. Bella more than I like you with Edward, Christine. <laughs> you know what? I just don't fucking like Girls Edward. Are just I think easier. that's what it is. Uh, girls yeah i don't know i don't know if girls are easier i think I if we were easier, actually but I, lesbian they're I don't easier think for me to that. approach i feel oh, like for sure as a person much yeah. easier yeah. to approach um okay, okay. 
Jacob, it's his time. Oh my God. Um, we all know Chloe has been adamantly team Jacob my whole life. <laughs> he is the more suitable choice. He's still toxic, but I'll stand behind the more suitable choice. Um, besides having the body of a Greek god, he, um, he also has a motorcycle and he has tattoos and he can transform into a cuddly dog literally whenever I want. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? If I got annoyed well, with him or mad at him, I'd just be like, can you be a fucking wolf right now? Like, so I can just cuddle you and stop being annoyed with you. Like, it's dangerous, though, when he turns into it because he can whatever. hurt you by accident. Nah, nah. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I've dealt with angry my whole life. Uh, that's not scary. Um. <laughs> anyways. Yeah. So I. Oh, and the d fucking wolf is big enough that you can ride this goddamn wolf like a horse. <laughs> and he'll take you anywhere. Like, are you kidding me? Oh my God, it's so much more convenient than a cold vampire next to you. Okay. Um, I'm also always cold, so I want someone that's always warm. Like, I need my own space heater. Like, I love when a man is a space heater. Well, that's why um, I like the vampires. Yeah, well, so no, that makes sense. That makes sense. He's sex on a stick. Um, I would love to explore what, like, a half man, half wolf has to offer a girl. Um, and he can be my alpha anytime. Okay, yeah, but he shifts into a wolf. Are we, are we gonna with the technicalities? Okay, where I'm cornering him. Okay, I think I will find myself hiking. A little hiking moment, oh. Natasha. We can like you know check on each other location uh -huh. while we're hiking. You're like, oh, I'm over here. Yeah. Okay, don't yeah, talk yeah. to me. I need to pretend we're alone. <laughs> So I'm finding myself hiking more and more on the res, exploring nature in La Push, and I'll accidentally run into him while he's a shapeshifter <laughs> and show him that I'm not afraid, okay? Um, oh. And I'll pet him and I'll tell him that he's a good boy. <laughs> oh my God. I'll be like, you're such a good boy. And then I'll offer to groom him. I think that that oh. would be like, that would be oh. a little different. I wonder what the technicalities are with grooming. I like, does he no, have I shorter know. hair like, when he shifts like, back? What about like fleas and ticks? Well, I'll take. He I'll must have that. front line on Honestly, him. I think that's probably so satisfying. Um, he obviously will ignore me because he's like super obsessed with Bella. But what I'll do is I'll start surfing every morning at La Push, and <laughs> I'll start driving around in my motorcycle, which I did used to have. Fun fact. Yeah, or even like an old car. And yeah, be like, Can you fix I'm just it gonna up? be the ultimate cool girl, and he'll eventually give in Pick to my me. charm because everyone always does. Mm. So, <laughs> um, and then on our first date, I think because we're like already doing the beach vibe, I think we do like a beach bonfire similar to what happens in Twilight and um, Eclipse. Eclipse. No, oh, is it Eclipse? Is it new? Well, I guess there's is he multiple. There for the bonfire? Is there multiple? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Day, There's a beach bonfire. bonfire and there's s'mores. And <laughs> that is our love story. Nice. Oh, nice. Wait, but how are you going to ask him out? Huh? How what do you, you mean? From the grooming, we're just dating. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Got it. That's that's how that works. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She's going to just like bring him in without actually technically asking him out. That's okay. kind of how I do it with all men. So Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm like, this is like, ask people out? What? I don't do this. <laughs> well, you have to ask for to like go to the bonfire. That's true. That's true. And like while we're surfing, maybe it'll come up and I'll be like, you know, like I've been like craving s'mores. All right. It's my turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the next person I'm asking out is Charlie because he yes. doesn't hover. Yes, <laughs> Charlie. He's so hot. He is the hottest person uh, in fucking Twilight, bro. He is very cute and he's like such a sweetie like he oh, doesn't know how to like communicate his feelings so instead he like does thing he's like he's like you know he's not acts just of all service. talk he's, acts he's of all service. about yeah he's all about actually doing things like putting the things on her tires without saying anything about it and all that stuff so and then if we're together, I'll also be able to, like, be friends with the Cullens and have their protection. When he made Bella spaghetti. 
so cute. He's so smooth. We both don't know how to cook, so we can learn together or no, order out not. together. I was about to say, or literally never eat at home ever. Yeah, yeah, we'll just eat at the diner all the time. There you go. Um, this is where I plan on finding him. So Bella's still in high school, and um, he's going to be at a parent teacher conference. Ooh, and hot. I'm going to go to the parent teacher conference and or just who? pretend to be a parent. Oh, uh, again, what, a stalker what, situation. Why don't you what just, is like, wrong work with at the you? School? What is wrong with you? Just like work <laughs> at the school. Like you have is to be there. Is this what you there. think romance is? Like, what if you're a teacher? Is this what how if... you meet people not on dating apps? I'm so confused. I'm gonna pretend <laughs> to be <laughs> like. Why do you need to pretend? Guys, just roll with it. No, just be a teacher there. That would be so cute. Oh, that'd be hot. Okay, that'd be sexy. This is more fun for me is to play a character. So I'm going to pretend. This is never going to last. Be... Okay, I don't need it to last. This is my fictional romance with Charlie. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. You're the so, side chick and... to my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Two cops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, I am Jessica's mom. Who is Jessica? Your fake kid? <laughs> it's What's her face? Jessica's from Twilight. Come on. Oh, true. I heard that Bella's like a real smart girl. And I think that I have an extra ticket to the Mariners game. Did you Not the Mariners. Oh. No Mariners. Love it. <laughs> Um, and so we'll go to the Mariners game and they'll be playing like the Yankees. I don't know if they play the Yankees, but I'm they'll sure be playing they Yankees play the my, Yankees at some point in my, in my dream. Well, if they're on the same, like, cause there's the American league and the other league. Um, anyway, I don't know what the leagues are for them, but they'll be playing the Yankees and I'll be like, my team's actually the Yankees. So we're like competing teams today and we'll get to like, kind of like banter about our teams and talk about our kids and bond <laughs> and our that'll kids, be our first date child <laughs> my fake kids this is and... crazy in all these situations <laughs> you're a fucking liar like it's wild uh once and again might i remind term. people do not flirt this way oh so you're just he's just like what a, a sex piece he's just like a f like a an experience to like get to know ourselves better okay <laughs> what do you want from me in this fictional universe Listen, i'm gonna have i want you to be here. a better person <laughs> i think I'm... i think if you were bella's teacher and like he had to come think in of the role plays you could do with that situation yeah he had to come into the parent teacher conference you guys have a one-on-one -on -one. you like really start to hit it off and <laughs> Like then you kind of have to keep your secret, like your your relationship secret for a while. Yeah, did because you not hear though? She wants to be a lot. She wants to be a character. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to fake it. I would have more fun with like pretending to be a parent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it's what? it's her story. Okay. Natasha, it's in her my, story. Okay? okay. In my real life, like this would never happen because obviously in my real life, I'm just like a normal nice person. So in these Oh, so fake you want to be a psychopath in all of I these fake be fun. stories. Fun? I wanna be like... So you want to be Joe from Literally. That's what it's giving. I didn't want to say it earlier. Joe from what? You. You. I don't get it. Joe the from The serial what? killer. You! Oh, yeah. You. I, oh, my God. All right. I'm okay. not going to murder anybody, though. I don't really like your stories. Um, <laughs> we really like your real books, though. The books you yeah. actually write, we love. Okay. <laughs> I My story with Edward was so sexy. What are you talking about? <laughs> and my story with Bella was so cute. And it was sexy? Yeah, the one on the subway? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> like a fantasy. <laughs> I yeah. The story with Edward's like that's the best. No, I like that. The, the Bella one was good too. You're right. No, the Bella, the Bella one, one was, was really so cute. cute. Cutie, I like it. Yeah. So guys, you like my stories. <laughs> Just the Bella one. Just the Bella one. Okay. Anyways, Natasha, I like how who are you unhinged? Dating? I just I.
for me, Charlie's like a sweet innocent. And I don't like that you're playing a character to get with I him. I want to ride Charlie's mustache into the oh. sunset. <laughs> uh, Wait, who did you say you're asking out, Natasha? I haven't gone yet. No, oh, we're okay. just we're um, judging you first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so my person I'm asking out is Emmett. Mm-hmm. Um, why, am I, why do I want to ask him out? Because Emmett is my man. And <laughs> it's, just, it's being Chloe right there. Um, <laughs> real, real. Emmett is my man. Um, that is not how I talk, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, he's the type of man that I'm attracted to, and I've also always been obsessed with him, and he's obsessed with Rosalie, and she's kind of nasty. Um, so not to say that I'm nasty. So I'm kind of nasty. <laughs> I just know, like, on the outside, he's like this big teddy bear, yes. like, yes. Dumbo, but, uh... No, himbo, himbo. Himbo, himbo, yes. Um, and I just know, like, we get, I don't know if we get along because, like, w- w- what would we have in common? So it doesn't matter. I just think he's hot, okay? <laughs> uh, I, just, I I hope that there's something behind, like, I hope that he's smarter than he actually portrays to be. And I, you know what? He's probably you really likes action one. movies. You can be the smart You know what? One. You're right. He likes, he likes Mission movies. Impossible. Mission Impossible. Oh, my God. And I there love you go. There you go. There you go. And you love Mission. Yep. So you can both watch Tom Cruise together. Yes. Yes, exactly. Um, so where will I corner him? At the gym. He's going to be my gym crush. Okay. Oh, duh. <laughs> yeah. Um, since I don't really know what I'm doing at the gym, I'm going to like <laughs> act a little dumb. You're a smart man to help me. I'm going to be like a little cutesy gyms. and ask him how this like machine works. Men and, love that. Men eat that oh, shit up. Oh, they mm, do. They love it. And then I'll have him show me. And then like once he does that, I'll move on to the next day and then ask him how, the, like, it's leg day now. How, how does this how does machine work? this machine work? Because he's obviously in there a You're lot. You're going to, like, okay? bend over, like, and pick up the weights in front of him. Oh, I yeah, like no, this Yeah, no, some of my favorite, like, TikTok videos is when, like, girlies get themselves in the situation and all the gym bros have to go in and help them. I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Love it. Everyone's, like, so, a little like, sweaty, a little damp. Mm. Yeah, so I'll be I'll be working <laughs> up cheap. I'll be working up my muscles and I'll be doing like you know what are those those push up things with the Gabby I fall off a treadmill and injure myself. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Um, he's like deaf listening to smut while working out. I like that. No, I like Christine in the chat when she said I want Emmett and Edward to fight over Natasha. I feel like that's like low key a vibe. Oh, but the brother trope. Yeah brother trope oh the brother tro- oh i love that mm-hmm, that's a cute one mm-hmm. um so i'm doing the like overhead what is this way where, where you're like on the yeah like the pec the, muscle the bar thing. the bar thing the bar. yeah pull bar P- pull pull and i'm getting myself into a situation where like i'm i'm um, i'm tapped out like i can't get it like overhead and so like i'm falling down like and I'm like, oh, you're talking about the one. Oh, like, he's gonna be a spotter. spotter. He's gonna be a and he's, spotter. Okay. For he's you. gonna be spotting me. <gasps> yeah, well, he's gonna see me cross the way, and he like runs you're over. And he like saves me. Whatever. Yeah, the chest press. And I'm what like, that is. Oh my god, Thank it's something you. like that. <laughs> like if you pull it down oh, whatever no we're not talking about the pulling it down one chloe we're talking about the one where this you one the, the oh. put that where it's like you need a spotter yeah yeah okay behind you to like move it oh yeah, like the wait this way or that way yeah with your leg your leg or oh yes like, oh. okay yes 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 <laughs> that's a bench press there we go. Bench press. Thank Chest you. press, bench press. We go there. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> um so uh so from that point on like our eyes lock i say thank you rosalie's not around she's not in the picture she does not exist in this universe okay i only have the the siblings that are in the colin house is they all want to date you alice and emmett and they all want to date me okay (laughs) duh obviously you're gonna tear this family apart (laughs) that's how it goes Um, sometimes 
Um, no, Alice has already seen it all coming. She knows, like, she's endgame, okay? <laughs> so, after a few days then, I'll, I'll full out ask him out because I know he's not someone who, like, beats around the bush. I'll just be like, hey, I think you're hot and you're cute. Like, I'd love to get to know you more. Would you like to go on a date with me? And, like, you know what? If he ignores me, that's fine. I'll put him on blast. Um, uh, but if he says yes. put him yes, on blast? Like on Twitter. Yeah, like on Twitter. Like I'll start a whole a whole thing. Anyways. Okay. Um and it's not gonna happen though, because he's not gonna ignore no, me. No, of course not, because you're hot so, as So where will we go on our first date? We're gonna go go karting. Ooh. And we're gonna do like a little competitive thing because we like our action movies. I like that. Yeah, I like, I that. like that. Um go around this the track. This is good for Emmett. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go around the track a few times. Like I'm a speed demon. I'm like a crazy driver so like i'll obviously win um and then um at the very end like we'll go for ice cream and he'll kiss me on the first day you know it's funny if Emmett in his go-kart just stands up like he does in that (laughs) (laughs) it's also so weird that entrance is so weird you know what also (gasps) is weird he's got a full bag of hard-boiled eggs when he's (sighs) walking in to that diner to the cafeteria scene well what? it's because he has to keep up his dream bro persona mm-hmm. even though he's really oh like eating a deer God. every other day <laughs> <laughs> wow. um okay christine all right make these last... it... oh wait it's, is it's it chloe it's chloe's turn yeah. yeah um okay charlise hello he's my everything Who? charlise who's charlise sorry what did i just say charlise <laughs> Yeah. You mean Carlisle? Carlisle. Oh I'm my like, god. Charlize. And then I'm like, wait, is that Charlie? What did I write? Carlisle. Did I say that in French Charlie. or something? I was like, Charlie's there on? <laughs> wait, Charlie's would be a really good, like, gender bent Carlisle. <laughs> right this episode no matter how hard i try carlisle okay so carlisle is super sexy and he's really smart and very caring and i feel like he definitely would be even more so as a partner he's obviously such an incredible father he's just like green flag after green flag yeah he's super control that's like his superpower is like he yeah he's just like so he's so great he's on top Um, of things and I've always wanted to adopt, and this is like very serious. Like I, it's very serious. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to adopt um, because I'm adopted, and I think that that's really beautiful that he also like wanted to like adopted all of his children. Um, yeah. So I think that would we would honestly get along really great that way. I think we're meeting very like Grey's Anatomy. I'm one of his patients and I'm paralyzed, okay? Oh my gosh. I'm paralyzed from like the hips down. I can't use my legs and we fall in love as he's taking care of me and he just starts spending more and more time with me in the hospital and he decides that for some reason I like capture his eye and he changes me so that I can walk again and be a vampire with him and we can just like live together i think contraire to charlie carlisle is probably into more subtle women i'm not very subtle but i would (laughs) i would but i would practice with him and i would let him do most of the talking i feel like men love to talk so i would let him mansplain at me and like let me tell him his stories and like why he loves medicine and about his children and like all this stuff and i would let him take care of me because like we said before men love that um he can't ignore me i'm literally his patient so that question is null and void like he literally has to talk to me um and i think that after i like become a vampire and i get my legs back like Carlisle is like dripping in money. He's got endless a bank account. He is so dripping in money. We're going to Paris and Milan, and we're shopping, and <laughs> we're going in a private jet um, because because he, he don't care do about that. He can do that for me. He can do that for me. And yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. So <laughs> we're going shopping. We're rating LV, and just let me have this, okay? 
Carlisle's if I'm going like, to be with Carlisle, I'm going to be bouge, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Carlisle's like one of the richest f- uh, fictional characters, actually. Yeah, no, I know. That's why I'm like, Daddy, are you going to take me shopping? Thanks. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is this, so should we pick from the last two we yeah. have and just do one here? Yeah. Okay. All right. So the last person I'm going to ask out is Jane. I'm going to Jane. Yeah, Jane, because she's <gasps> very powerful. And all of your pick, oh, psycho, psycho, psycho. I psycho. like <laughs> to have her on my side. Like if there's a zombie apocalypse, oh so the world is going to shit, and we're both at the mall shopping. <laughs> Why would and she be shopping? Are you in she's, Italy? She's looking for a new. They're outfit. in Milan. And it's the LV store, and we see them. <laughs> yeah, we're we're in Italy, and I was gonna be like, I love your work, and I love your hair, and I feel like you should be the leader of Volturi, and kind of like lean into like the power hunger mm. of what she probably feels like she's been the sidekick of Arrow for so long, and she mm. should be higher on the power totem pole, and then. If she ignores me still, I'm going to be like, have you ever had a girlfriend? And she's going to be intrigued because she's always been like stuck in this And then she's going to set you on fire from your inside. No, no, no. (laughs) And then we're going to talk over ice cream because I'm just going to be like, we're going to go deep about our romantic history and lack of (laughs) over ice cream. And she's going to like bear her soul about like what actually caused her to have this ability to give people pain and why she is that way. And she's going to want to be She probably does have a really traumatic backstory. She probably does. Yeah. Um, Jane's favorite flavor of ice cream is, wouldn't you know it, vanilla. She just really likes um, a classic. What? <laughs> no, she would have some fucking unhinged, like Cherry Garcia is her fucking favorite. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it's vanilla. Uh, you don't know her like I do. Oh my God. You, um, don't, you don't know her like I do. <laughs> She's my psychopath. <laughs> Guys. It's crazy. I okay, like a psychopath story. On? That's why I love killing Eve. Um, okay. Anyway, so then we're going to become girlfriend and girlfriend and um, take down the Volturi together. Oh, okay. okay. I like that. Is she like going to make you a, a vampire? She is, yeah, eventually, because she'll want to be together. There's forever. no way she has enough control to, to not murder you. No, she will, because I, I'll be her Bella to her Edward. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll change her. Sure. <laughs> we'll go to couples therapy. <laughs> what, about, what about her twin brother? He's always her, around. Her twin brother You're is so psychotic. weirdly erotic. And Jane isn't? Are you kidding me? Well, he he like paralyzes you. That's really scary. Why are you so like like Why are you so apologetic of Jane? What do you mean? I'm just giving her a second chance. <laughs> Okay. Well, they're. I think they're equally psycho. <laughs> I. They're all psycho, but this is a story, and <laughs> I could do whatever I wanted. It. It's true. It's true. Um, okay. All right, Natasha. Who's your My last person? Last person is I'm asking out Garrett, who Lee Pace plays in Breaking Dawn. He is the like American vampire dude. <gasps> Oh, yeah. he's hot. Yep. I was like, who the fuck is Garrett? <laughs> nice How could choice. You not know Garrett. <laughs> I I'm way less into Twilight than y'all. <laughs> I just said Charlize, okay? Sam. I need everyone to kill the chill Sam the fuck said out. Jane has pretty privilege. She does. Uh yeah. Dakota Fanning. <laughs> Daddy, I'll fix her. 
<laughs> oh my really? god wonderful choice thank you gabby um let's <laughs> say out of all the other vampires he was the one that i was most interested in honestly he's the guy that i would tell out my brother he's like yeah this guy's like been in all the american battles okay so why do i want to ask him out um he's just fucking cool and knowledgeable he's and he's so cool. he's the oldest guy on my list right here um so he's hot he knows a lot of history what, is he 500 yeah no He's from the American Revolution in the 1700s. Yeah. So he's 700? I think he might be a little no, bit No, it's like 300. Also, like, Lee Pace, who, the guy who plays him, is just he's just, like, tall, okay? He's just, like, tall. tall. He's just and, like, tall. tall. And, like, big, okay? Um, when was the American Revolution? 1776. Is that not 700 years? <laughs> 700 oh no, my god it's like four, like, wait no no you know it's 300 years all? it's about 300 because he's not like a baby during it okay sorry whoa awkward okay. <laughs> so in this world i'm a vampire okay so this is separate this okay. is like okay. one okay. of the colons different... has already made me a vampire i said fuck you all i'm gonna go on an adventure this is my oh. time to shine love okay so i'm a vampire in this world and honestly like the collins find him like out like in louisiana like after like at, like in the dark because that he drinks human blood okay so i will probably i'm 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 gonna be looking for him for a long time because i've heard about him through the collins and my adventure is like I am looking for like this is like a national treasure type of oh. of an adventure. Oh, it's kind. a heist. Yeah, that I'm partaking on. Okay, love. So I am out to find him because I need him to answer this one question. Um, so I kind of corner him, um, uh, at like a bar. Um, at night and so I tell him I'm like I've been tracking you for a year just so that I could have like the chance to ask him this very specific history question to steal and the declaration of independence exactly like some unknown treasure we need to find <laughs> and I guess like he would know and then um, I get my answer and then I just walk away after I got my answer okay and I'd not tell him my name or why I need that info and then he'd come running after me and Ooh yeah he would he'd chase and, and, you and he'd be like wait so why do you need to know that like that answer the question like i'm I'm curious like tell me, tell me yeah and i'd be like well if you want to buy me a drink i'll tell you the whole story <laughs> love <laughs> yeah and i the i was like well he probably had to go get me blood from the blood bank and then i would have to tell him everything but <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I'll, on that like little sit down date thing, I'll share that I'm on a mission to find a national buried treasure. And does he want to go with me? This is an opportunity to go on an adventure of a lifetime. The opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah. And if he <laughs> says, if he says, ah, oh, I'm good. I'm like too bad. You'll miss out on the best find of your life. And I'm not talking about the treasure. <laughs> hot thank you oh, oh my god oh <laughs> it's getting hot in here Natasha okay now I need to use that line on a real man <laughs> that's a good one yeah now yeah, I want to the um, bank. Uh, write this story by the way yeah <laughs> this um, is my you favorite need to write one a book. this is what I'm learning write a book write a book <laughs> thank you. thanks okay. all right Chloe give us your last one my last is Emmett, and very similar to Tosh, I just like his, his sheer size <laughs> and sex appeal mm -hmm. is reason enough to want Emmett. I agree, he's total himbo, but I feel like he's kind of like a little baby boy behind closed doors. Like, all men are so tough, and then the second they have a girlfriend, and the second they're with their girlfriend, they're like, but I just want to cuddle totally him totally him that's his vibe um and i feel like he's probably really mushy which i love i feel like we're gonna meet mm -hmm. at the volvo car car dealership in seattle <laughs> yes he's shopping for like a new sexy sports car he like probably wrecked the last one and i'm going to like bump into him here i'm gonna like 
maybe uh, like working there because I know a lot of them have coffee shops like that you can wait while you're getting your car done. Mm. And I will impress him with my knowledge of Volvos that I had like just Googled and I like memorized facts. He doesn't have a Volvo. That he has a Jeep. But his, all his family likes Volvos. So maybe he's just getting a... Edward. Do we know what? that for sure? Yeah. yeah. We do? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so fine. just change it. I'm at just the change. Jeep dealership. There you go. Just change it to Jeep. Because, like, you know, Jeep Jeep people are, like, obsessed with their Jeeps. Yeah, they, they are. They are. And they have, like, their little rubble. Jeep. They have their getting rubber more. duggies. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. He's getting a fancy Jeep. Maybe, like, the new, like, Jeep pickup trucks. Those are kind of cool. Um, also, I'm representing the casual Twilight girlies for this episode, <laughs> clearly, because... <laughs> okay um anyways i would impress him with my knowledge of jeeps and like the rubber ducky like trading and i would whatever we're like it's hot we're the jeep dealership and i would be like we should go for a ride Mm. (laughs) and we would end up in the back seat and we would fool around and at the end of us fooling around, because obviously it rocked, he would be like, <laughs> we should do this more. So it would start off as like a casual fling, fling yeah. sex, and it would grow into like this burning, passionate romance. Like, I just, I don't think Emmett likes subtle women. I think he's the opposite. No. I think he likes them a little mean. He likes them up front. Yeah, so like, I don't I think, think he'll mind sex yeah. on the first meeting. Um, and if he ignores me, I'll just flash him. Again, I think that he just got to put it out there. Um, and yeah, that would be our love story. Uh, it would have to do... I I love a backseat of a car, so... <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. Well, you those rocked were... the Jeep. <laughs> if the our... Jeep is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. <laughs> Those are our Twilight dates. I hope you all enjoyed that. I want to hear what, like, everyone's favorite date was for each of us. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, vote in the chat. If, also, favorite. if you don't say Charlie, you're canceled. <laughs> I literally, I cannot, I am so in love with Charlie Swan. <laughs> um, all right. We have a Mary Kiss cliff the stalker fake teacher <laughs> that is that's your favorite <laughs> of mine um natasha's, natasha's garrett, garrett was my favorite i liked garrett too mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's such a good pick mm-hmm. um should we roll into mary kiss cliff you guys ready yes Jane was the scariest. <laughs> also, the way you were talking about Jane, I'm like, what's with this attitude happening? I yeah, yeah it's, it's like she, Jane is so not okay. Whatever. Yeah, I feel like you gave her a whole ass new personality. <laughs> we don't know much about Jane, so that's the problem. She's just been brainwashed into working for Arrow her whole life and torturing people. Okay, someone else read these names because I don't, I don't want to get dragged in the comments. <laughs> Okay, Chloe's pick this week is Aro, Caius, and Marcus. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Aro? Uh, I guess. Okay, I'm I feel like to... I'm. Yeah, no, oh, you go. Go ahead. You know, you, you go. go. You go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to. Oh God, I don't know. Are so creepy. I'm gonna have... marry Marcus. Oh, because he's close to death, right? Well, also, also he just like seems like the, the least bad one. choice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I'd kiss Kaya's and I would cliff Arrow because I don't like how he could just touch me and know everything I've ever thought in my life. Ew. It would make the relationship a lot easier, though. Yeah, low key. Oh my God. <laughs> he would know everything immediately. Um, Chloe, you go. I'm going to marry Marcus. I'm going to kiss Aro and then kill Caius. Marcus, kiss. Okay. 
As a hot as Caius is, he's so mean. He feels like, I feel like he's a sadist. So. Ooh, yeah. He <laughs> wouldn't be treating people very well. No. Honestly, I think I'm going to marry Aro. <laughs> Oh yeah, God. his so relationship weird. is so quick. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I'm going to kiss Caius and then Cliff Marcus. He wants to die anyways. <laughs> Poor Marcus. <laughs> Just, he's so well, depressed. What, what, what's his line? Like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All well, right, how old y'all? is that motherfucker? <laughs> he's so old. old. He's old. Um... All right, so that was our Twilight Pickup Line episode, y'all. We hope you had as much fun as we did. This reminded me of, like, I think one of the first episodes I was on, which was the creating your favorite boyfriend. Yeah, I know. And someone put in the comments, and I will never forget this comment. They were like, this felt like I was at a girl's sleepover. And I always feel that way when we're together. Anyway, that's our show. We release new episodes every Friday, and our show is edited by Christine Richard, Natasha Polis, Ricky McBrayer, and Alex Polis. We, our music is by Cole Jenkins with vocals by Heather Traska. Our socials are done by the lovely Chloe Laverson. Go her. follow us on Instagram and TikTok at those forking fangirls. And that's our show i'm christine i'm natasha and i'm chloe we'll see you next week we're gonna go record fangirl tea time so if you're a patron that's coming up <laughs>